The Princess of France arrives in Navarre with her ladies Rosaline, Catherine and Maria. Who are the lords that have bowed fellows with this virtuous eve? None of you is one. Know you the man? Of sovereign parts he is esteemed. Well fitted in arts, glorious in arts. Nothing becomes him ill that he would wear. The only soil of his fair virtues glass is a sharp wit matched with too blunt a will. Some merry mocking lord be like so. They say so most, but most is human no. Such short-lived wits do wither as they grow. Who are the rest? The young humane, a well-accomplished youth. Of all the virtue loved, for virtue loved. Most part of him most harm, he snow you. For he hath wit to make an ill shape good, and shape to win grace, though he had no wit. I saw him at the Duke of Orson's once. Much too little of that good I saw is my report to his great worthiness. Another of these students at that time was there with him at that school. Perrault, called him. <laughs> but a merrier man than in the limit of the coming birth. I never spent an hour's talk with him. God bless my name. Are they all in love? That every one her own has garnished with such bedecking ornaments of praise? Here comes for you. Now, what admittance, Lord? Never. I've had notice of your fair approach, and he and his competitors in oath were all addressed to meet you, gentle lady, before I came. Mary, that's much I have learnt. He rather means to lodge you in the field, oh. like one that comes here to besiege his court, than seek a dispensation for his oath to let you enter his unpeopled house. Oh. Here comes Navarre. Fair princess, welcome to the court of Navarre. Fair, I give you back again, and welcome I have not yet. The roof of this court is too high to be yours, and welcome to the wide fields, too base to be mine. You shall be welcome, madam, to my court. I will be welcome, then. Conduct me thither. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Hear me, dear lady. I, uh, I have sworn an oath. Oh, lady, help my lord. He will be forsworn. <laughs> the world, fair madam, by my will. My will shall break it. Will and nothing else. Your ladyship is ignorant what it is. Well, my lord, so his ignorance will rise when out his knowledge must prove ignorance. I hear your grace had sworn out housekeeping. It is deadly sin to keep that oath, my lord, and sin to break it. But pardon me, I am too sudden bold to teach a teacher ill that seem to me. Vouchsafe to read the purpose of my coming and suddenly resolve me in my seat. Madam, I, I will, if suddenly I may. You will the sooner that I were away, for you will prove perjured if you make me stay. Meantime, receive such welcome at my hand as honor, without breach of honor, may make tender of thy true worthiness. You may not come, fair princess, in my gates, but here without, you shall be so received that you shall deem yourself God in my heart, though so denied fair harbor in my house. Your own good thoughts excuse me, and uh, farewell. Tomorrow shall we visit you again. Sweet health and fair desires consult your grace. My own wish, wish I thee in every place. Did not I dance with you in Brabant once? Did not I dance with you in Brabant once? I know you did. How neat this was it then to ask the question? Uh, you must not be so quick. It is long of you that spur me with such a question. Your wit's too hot, it speeds too fast, too tough. Not till it leaves the rider in the mire. Uh, what time of day? But fools should ask. Now fare before your master. Fair for you, face it covered. And send you many love. Amen. So you be done. Nay. Then will I be gone. <laughs> um, uh, what's her name in the cap? Rosaline, by good hat. Is she wedded or no? To her will, sir, also. You are welcome, sir. And you? Farewell to me, sir, and welcome to you. Sir, I pray your word. What lady is that same? The heir of Alençon, Catherine, her name. A gallant lady. <laughs> Monsieur, fare you well. Uh, I beseech you a word. Uh, what is she in the white? A woman sometimes, and you saw her in the light. Mm, a chance light in the light. I desire her name. She hath but one for herself. To desire that for a shame. Pray you, sir, whose daughter? Her mother, I have heard. God's blessing on your beard. Oh, well, sir, have you not offended? She is an heir of Falkenby. Nay, my comrade is in. She's a most sweet lady. Not unlike, sir. <laughs> that may be.
Armado sends Moth his page to fetch Costa.